Hi everybody. In this video I'm gonna be picking up the vent holes in the barrel for the handpiece. I used to go with four vent holes, now I go with three. I kind of like this arrangement better, so. One thing I have to do is find center. So I've got this neat little device that helps me do that. And you put this in the spindle and it'll help you find the center of the part. It's pretty cool. Cheap. And I would imagine it's in just about everybody's, every machinist's toolbox. So what I do is stick that in the chuck and I run it down onto the part just barely touching it. Now it's going to help me find the center. And that looks pretty good. Let's see. Right there. Can't really see it, but the uh, lines line up, so that's pretty close to the center of the park without doing a bunch of guesswork. So I'll lock the uh, I'll lock the Y exit down, axis down, and I found the center. Now from here, I'm going to pick up the two holes on the side of the part so I want to run it in till it's flush against the edge of my chuck here and I'm going to look at the little locator tip and it looks like it's at about 90 degrees and I want a one-eighth hole three one-eighth holes so what I've got is a little center drill that's one eight. I want as much of this hanging out as I can get. And it's still running true. Because I want to go clean through. Nope, look at that thing wobble. Can't see it. Back up a little bit here. I have to move the uh, camera a couple of times here. Let's get it to where it'll run through. Yeah, still got a pretty good wobble on it. I didn't have so much hanging out at which there we go. That's a lot better. Now I'm going to move the camera over here, so you watch me line it up. And Okay, and what I do is I just eyeball this one. And I want to get this tip of the center drill right on the edge of my part here. And I can usually see it with a little help. My George, that is pretty darn close right there. Now what I need to do is set my indicator to zero. And let's get back 
here a little bit. Got that right on the edge of the part. I've got my indicator set to zero and I'm going to dial in the 750. in 750 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 50 Focus. And now I've got my 750 set. I can actually lock down the x axis. And if I wanted to do a dozen or more, it'd be set. Now I have to move this parallel that it was sitting on out of the way. So I just slide it back so I don't drill into my parallel. And this first, I'm going to two holes at once. Take this loose, slide my parallel back into place, and I'm going to turn this 90 degrees so that the locator, the locator tab is straight down. It's at six o'clock. Now I'm going to push the part back flush with the side and I'm going to drill another hole and that should have it drilled here. Hard to see. Here's a quick change tool holder will pop into here and it should be right in the middle of the hole which it is. Get a good picture of it here. There you go. There's some burrs down in there, but it'll have to be cleaned up. But that got the holes right where they need to be. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.